In this session, we're going to talk about the growth loop. The growth loop is a methodology we've developed to help clients begin working on their projects. It describes two main phases of activity, the analysis phase and the production phase. In the analysis phase, our real goal is to understand the client's business objectives. Our intention is to bring those business objectives to life and describe them in a way that the team can execute against. We begin with a phase called ideation. Ideation is brainstorming. We understand the client's business goals and we discuss together as a team using a set of tools that we've developed on possible ways of delivering on those goals. After we've developed a list of ideas, we put them in order. That's called prioritization. Prioritization is important because we always want to focus most of our energy on the most important aspects of the work. Priorities can change, and the ordering of the prioritization can change. It will change. It's normal. Once we've prioritized the ideas, we need to characterize them in more detail. That's called the definition, or define phase. In the defined phase, we use a variety of tools, such as persona analysis, user stories, user journey mapping, process analysis, to visualize the business problem and create artifacts that describe the objectives of the goal. Once we've characterized the goals in the defined phase, we can then estimate the work. We use standard methodologies to provide the best visibility and the most realistic assessments of the impact of the work. Our goal is to provide a cost estimation that is fair to the client, but gives us the tools we need to get the work done correctly. Once we've completed the analysis phase and the client has decided to move forward, the next step is setup. And this is true both for marketing projects as well as for development projects. During setup, we do a couple of things. We put the team in place. We define the collaboration framework. We agree on the tools for communicating and storing information. We make sure everyone has access to the tools, such as Facebook or GitHub, etc., that they'll need to do their work. The team then begins to analyze the backlog of work defined in the analysis phase and prepare to actually execute on those objectives. The goal of a production phase is a deployment. And that deployment could be the delivery of code into a repository or into production, or it could be that we're bringing a marketing campaign live with Facebook ads and AdWords and landing pages. In both cases, what's happening is the rubber is meeting the, the road. The client is getting the most value they can, and we are addressing their business objectives that have been defined in the analysis phase with tactics that are agreed upon, built correctly, and brought into live view.